What's up diabetic friends? We are on the step two of the Dexcom G6 setup process. Uh, we just went over the unboxing of everything. We did the sensors, the transmitter, and the receiver. And now we're on to, to step two here to actually set up and insert our first sensor. So in front of me, I laid out what I'm, I'm gonna use for this process, which are the directions. I always use skin tack just to make everything stick a little bit better. Sensors are here. I do have a little bit of uh, Fiasp in front of me just in case. I have my um, my receiver or the, the uh, transmitter, my phone, and I'm not gonna use the actual receiver that they give you. So if you are somebody who likes to use the receiver, this probably won't be the most uh, beneficial video, although I think a lot of things will apply to you still with the insertion. It's just the setup might be a little bit different for you. So with that, let's go into the setup. Um, so for those of you using a phone, you're gonna download the new app. Looks like that, it's a little green guy. There's no orange in the middle. So that's just their new app that they use. Um, click on that. You'll go through the initial videos and the, the general rigmin roll. And then you get to this screen that I thought was pretty cool. It's called import settings. So you can import your old settings from your old um, uh, application directly into the, the Dexcom G6 uh, application, which I thought, and that's huge, it saved me probably 15 minutes just through uh, the old setup process that, that we used to have to go through. So now I just hit import settings. It goes through this thing right here and it says import complete. Awesome, ready to roll. So you click next and it tells, it brings up a little screen, tells you that there are no finger stick calibrations. It's a 10 day sensor session, easy to use sensor application, smaller transmitter. We'll see about the easy to use sensor application. I think it will, will be, but we'll find out. Uh, smaller sensor, urgent, low soon alert. So the urgent uh, low soon alert is actually kind of cool. It's a thing that will give you a reading or an alert when your blood sugar will be less than 55 milligrams per DL in less than 20 minutes. So it's sort of a predictive low setting, which I think is kind of interesting. So you click a few more on I understands, notifications on, et cetera, et cetera. And then you get to this part that says uh, sensor code is on the applicator. You need to enter your sensor code. So the screen looks like this. Okay, so this is when you grab your applicator. This is the new, the new sensor, right, with the applicator. And you have to look right there, 5937. And that's when you can just enter it here. You can either take photo, or you can go through the hassle of entering four whole digits. <laughs> I'm just gonna enter it here. Um, 5937. Save, confirm entry, confirm, and we are good. Your transmitter sends sensor glucose readings to your smart device. The next few screens will walk you through the how to uh, connect your transmitter to your smart device. Okay, Bluetooth on, I understand. Next, Bluetooth on. Then you have to get to the transmitter um, serial number. Okay, so this is pretty similar to the old setup process with G5. What you're gonna do is either enter, or I'm gonna take a picture because it's a little bit longer of the, uh, of the transmitter serial number. So take photo. Yes, I'd like G6 to access my camera. And it's gonna be that little, okay. So it's actually this one right here. Take a photo of that. All right, good. So now we're kind of set up with all the hardware, uh, serial numbers and all that kind of stuff. Then it says, insert your sensor. Insert sensor now, you must insert your sensor and detach your transmitter before continuing the setup. Obviously. Um, have you inserted your sensor and attached your transmitter? Not yet, but I will. Okay, so the way you do that is pretty simple. You open this up. And before I do that, I'm gonna prep the site um, with skin tack, because I like this, this to always be super, super, super sticky. I'm gonna take a few steps back so you can see this. I'll, I'll do it, uh, that was the last one, so I always like, like to move my sights around a little bit. Um, I'm gonna move it to, I'm gonna move, move it back just slightly, back here. It's kind of a reach, but I think we'll be just fine with this new sensor setup applicator thing that they have going on here. So what you do is 
Step number one, remove, actually this is step number three, uh, remove both labels and do not touch the adhesive. All right. Okay, so that's, that was actually pretty simple. Um, that came off pretty easily, very simple. Then we're going to place the adhesive on the skin and this is kind of nice, it's super flat. You don't have to kind of do the uh, manual flattening like you did with G5, it's kind of cool. All right, so got that on like there, like that. And then you fold and break off the safety guard. So that's this thing right here. Fold it, I'm assuming this way? Oh yeah. All right, so you basically just take this and you fold it that way, just really simply. And then you press the orange button to insert. And then lift that off. That was really painless. That was actually, that was pretty damn good. I mean, I barely felt that. Nice, okay. Great, so this is what's left. It's just this big plastic thing. Seems like kind of a waste. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this because that's a big piece of plastic. Unfortunately, I think there's really no use for it. You just throw it away. But I'm gonna recycle this. You, hopefully, hopefully you guys do the same. All right, so now we're going to attach the transmitter. So clean the transmitter with alcohol. I have alcohol swabs here. So we're gonna do that. Open up an alcohol swab. I have a ton of these on hand. These are so useful for just about everything under the sun. Clean the transmitter with alcohol, insert transmitter tab into slot. All right, so let's do that. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And unlike the G5, there's no um, plastic applicator. You know, there's no little click kind of thing that they used to have. So basically it just says, Insert the transmitter tab into the slot. Slot tab. So it's this way. All right. Oh, it's, it actually fits super, super, super easily. There's like a little hole in the front, and that's where that's where that thing goes right there. There's, it goes kind of through that little slot in the front, and then you just snap it down. It's a slight sound when you snap it in. It's not a it's not a large click, it's just a slight little sound. Then it says rub around the patch three times. I mean, that's probably arbitrary. You can just do that if you want, but um, super comfortable, painless. Uh, I gotta say, this thing's pretty sweet. I still have the G5 in over here. You can see how much bigger it is. Eh. Let me move this phone. All right, G5. G6. So you can see that's that's pretty significant. Yeah, I like it. And that's that's it for the uh, for the startup process for the hardware. And then I believe what we're gonna do is go back to the software here. And it says searching for transmitter. Keep smart device within 20 feet of transmitter. Pairing may take up to 30 minutes. Tick tock. I don't think it's going to. Oh, okay, just found it. It only took like 12 seconds. And you just hit the button, the green button, like you did last time for the two hour setup process. Done. So that's that. That's the setup process for Dexcom G6. Um, hopefully you like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, write them below or down in the comments below this, and I'll try to address them for you. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.